can start to go from there. You want to start at salon art? Yeah, let's start at salon art. Yeah. Okay. All right, so uh, we can go to it's your boy at Tober Duncan Doc Crypto, and I got Skip and I got DJ, and we just gonna kind of go over uh, SolanaArt.io, going through the website and just taking a look at a couple NFT projects, things that we like, we don't like. Uh, we got some questions coming in that people have, and we just gonna kind of just poke around and see what we like. So let's start up, Skip. Um, Let's go look at, uh, let's go to the stats. Let's start from there. All righty. So can somebody tell me what salon art is? First and foremost. You know? Skip, you want to lead that off? You yep. want me to go over it? Yeah, I'll, I'll lead it off. So um, for one, my name is Skip. Hey, everybody. Um, Solana art is basically a platform in which you can buy all of your Solana-based NFTs. So if you've heard of OpenSea, that's uh, generally uh, your Ethereum-based NFTs. Solana Art is your uh, Solana-based NFTs. And these, you know, you'll find a lot of different versions of NFTs that Ethereum might have and your and some very creative new uh, NFTs that can broaden this space of just having JPEGs as artwork. You know, it, it, it can be from uh, fractionalized NFTs, basically owning different parts of uh, valuable things or, you know, NFTs that can be uh, furniture in, a, in the metaverse and, you know, many different things, many different things. So it's your Solana based NFT platform. Yeah. And and there's advantages and disadvantages to both because Skip was mentioning the Ethereum uh based NFT platform, uh OpenSea and then like Solana artists like for Solana is different advantages, pros and cons. Like so whereas Ethereum you might hold a lot more value because it's probably you know it's the first NFT market. It's uh you know it's just more reputable and everything like that. We got more projects on it and everything. Solana's more affordable with fees. It's cheaper, um, and it's and it's like you know it's, it's a little brother out here. So that's why you see a lot of uh, kind of gimmicks and kind of uh, projects that are already on Ethereum kind of brand on Solana as well. Got it. So. Uh, Skip, we went from the home page and he went over to the stats page in the top uh, bar. Uh, and the stats, we can kind of just sort through all the projects that are on Solana Art. Io. I usually go from the most important, you know what I'm saying? You can go whatever you want. I go I go out of floor price and I kind of go from work, work from away from high to low, depending on what your price range is. Or you can go off, you know, market cap, volume, average price. It's a whole bunch of different stats. Um, so, I think Skip's going, uh, you want to go, let's go to low, to low to high and just, um, right. low to high floor price. Yeah. All And so the lowest projects are looking like 0 0.1 Solana for the Solana slugs. Um, let's first touch on the, uh, eternal beings. You want to click on that one? So, you know, floating on the ominous orbit of Pluto, you got, Eleven thousand uh, one hundred and eleven eternal beings are found. Welcome your eternal being to their new home. It's been a long journey from Pluto, and uh, I believe this project was first started, and it was supposed to be in conjunction with Uzi Vert, and 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 it, you see, they kind of got some of the artwork from his Eternal to Take um, album. It kind of looks similar with the wording and the font and everything like that. Um, they live funky looking, uh, you know, they look real, you know, they look, look now, 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 now era, you know what I mean? And they, but they kind of look to me a little cheaply made too. Like the way the hats are kind of lined up on the characters and stuff. It looks like somebody just slapped some kind of clip art together. Um, but it was supposed to be a big project back with Uzi. Um, click one of them, uh, skip, click one of the, uh, 
the being so we can kind of see like once you click on the nft you can see that um it gives you the details and the rarity so you see that the eye the eyes the ice uh cyclops that's the that's zero only 0 0.89 of those other uh, eternal beings have that particular feature so you you know what i'm saying you want obviously the, the rarer the better and that's kind of you know how they get ranked you know um yeah so, i want to yeah ahead. i wanted to uh step in and uh talk about eternal being so basically you know like 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 you said it was with Lil uzi and you know things to watch this one of the things to watch out for when you're looking up nfts is because just because it can be associated or about a certain famous person that's worldwide doesn't mean necessarily that they're involved because obviously if uzi was involved like like uh ryan said these hats wouldn't necessarily be slapped on here like this you know so it's always it's always good to do your research when doing when when trying to buy nfts yeah definitely do your own research definitely um, research. um if i can ask this like so the the art of it is an indication of just how much energy or interest is is in a particular nft you said you saying would, the, yeah you saying the art of it the art part of it as well uh yes does that play into how uh i guess the nft is to be valued from an investor standpoint i'd say yes i say the art as well as the utility because different you know what i'm saying just because the nft um yeah it may have some cool artwork but then the utility also plays a big part you know what i'm saying the artwork could be like for instance with the board apes there's some that aren't nearly as uh popular as other ones or as art artistically is as complex as other ones but they're still worth crazy you know what i'm saying you know but uh they're still worth a crazy amount but that's on ethereum so we don't have board apes here but uh it just it just it, the utility as well so i mean to speak on the utility sometimes like you know some of these nft projects that give you like drops uh it's more than just artistic value is what i'm saying it'll be like different exclusive things you have access to that the rest of the public doesn't have just because you have hold the nft and that may be the, the the crux of the value you know what i mean yeah got it yeah okay okay so, so yeah, that's, yeah go ahead it's good okay so um uh basically moving from that and you said something very important about utility in the nft um mm -hmm. i feel like all all the viewers watching this uh when you're doing your own due diligence and researching make sure that the utility is is what works for you is it what works for a lot of different things because the utility is very important not just because it, it this artwork does look cool not necessarily just because of that what it can do for you like personal personal meetups secret meetups um better information through discord chats um free things for even having this nft airdrops. being able to come airdrops airdrops are the you know one of the best things about the space and being able to collaborate with different nfts being able to pile your nft to another one and you know do crazy unimaginable things with it yeah. and so i yeah. want to gaming yeah that's definitely a big a big factor right now because play to earn that is one of the easiest ways to earn crypto now like before things got mainstream i would say within the past two years you know just joining new crypto apps and 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 doing educational things that's how you easily earned crypto now you have these crypto play to earn games earn crypto just playing video games 
And so, and that's a part of NFTs. And yeah. so, did you, did we want to move on to, um, some, some, la- some analysis? Uh, that we can. Yeah, you can go. Yeah, we can go over there if you want to go over there or if you want, if you want to check another project first. Okay. Let's, uh, let's actually, let's check out another project and then we can move on to there. Okay. So I would say another project I've been looking at is, is flunk donkeys yeah remember you told me about the flunk donkeys oh, uh, the, uh, okay this is okay here they are yeah i so, can see this being used for branding uh in a lot of different ways and spaces go ahead definitely, definitely. so here it says the flunk donkeys are the rowdiest rudest collection of delinquent nfts to ever drop on the solana blockchain so what I particularly like about this project is that they have a DAO, which is a decentralized way of operating and the community voting on what what the particular group should be doing with said funds. I hope did I get that right? As far as what what a DAO? Yes. The main meaning of a DAO. Let's look it up. I don't really get like make her down with some other things like that. But as far as community, I know that some of them. So a DAO is just a decentralized autonomous organization. That's all it is. So uh, DAO is an organization represented by rules encoded as a transparent computer program controlled by an organization members and not influenced by a central government. So it's decentralized. Yep, that's the main thing. Yeah. And so, um, with with Solana Art, you have you have your long donkeys, and we press on one of them, and you see all its attributes. You know, the grades D fourteen percent rarity. The eyes having beady eyes that's three percent. So of course, they have a good, pretty good floor price. Uh, well, that's the oldest. Let's look at recently listed. So we have we have some pretty good prices here. Uh-huh. What's the latest that, sales looking like in there? If you scroll up, I, I think they have like the latest sales. Like, what are they going and what are they moving for? Mm-hmm. Just scroll up a little bit more. Nope, it's at the top of the screen. It's not there. The top uh, of the screen. Ah, uh, yes. It's his latest so, sale, in the top right hand corner. Let's see. So only two two moves. Okay, in the last like twenty four hours. Right. So at this point, at this point, um, a lot of people are looking to hold these because of the these these are pretty fresh to the market. And so you can and, and you can always tell that by visiting their social media pages. You know, they offer Twitter easy Discord. widgets to their website, their Discord, their Twitter, and you can easily do your due diligence all all in one all in one right here for solana art yeah so it's all on this page and so if you have if you're watching this and have the question of how do you find projects how do you find new projects to first mint and then you can get to solana art and post your nft for sale uh, a website that I've done my due diligence on and I've looked at is a site called Analysis. So this let me is Analy- on real quick, Skip. The first thing yeah. I think want to want to clarify to you know just like to DJ and anybody else who might be trying to understand what what you said there. So 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 Solana Art is a secondary market. So the stuff there is this stuff has probably already been minted and stuff like that. And uh, now you're going in and then you're. Uh, <clears throat> You're going in the and you're and you're, and you're reselling, you know. Saying sometimes for a profit, sometimes at the loss to get out of a project that might be a rug pull or something bad. You know what I mean? So that's the Solana Art. The IO is a secondary market. Uh, this is a tool that uh, Skip is suggesting. Some analysis this is a tool to use to kind of research new mints as well as existing projects. Yep. So and so, this is basically if if you're familiar in a crypto space and you've been onto websites like 
coin market cap coin gecko and they have a rundown of each coin with its market cap floor price price change volume etc this is pretty much the same setup with your nfts that's on solana that's on the solana blockchain so you okay. can look at the leaderboard here and obviously uh, switch up your market cap from low to high, high to low, floor price again, high to low or low to high. You can see your uh, seven day volume of money going in and out of the Solana blockchain market, NFT market. Like a cash flow. Exactly. Can you see what with the projects like does it have like background information, kind of like a coin market cap or anything like that? Like yes. So when you when you go when you click on to the specific the specifics, you can see all of the NFTs they have and you would go on to the secondary market, your Solana art, and look up exactly which ones these are. And then if it's available for sale, you can buy it. If it's not, then, you know, it, it just isn't. So, so I can, can I mint straight from this website or no? No, you cannot mint straight from this website, okay. but it gives you, of course, the options to go to directly their social media page to get to their website. Okay. And I can mint from there. Yep. And then you can mint from there. And okay. so while we're talking about minting, here is an upcoming release section where you have your upcoming for the day and, and beyond of new NFT projects that are supposedly so that you can mint so that instead of waiting or missing out and having to go to the secondary market and either having to pay inflated prices or not necessarily knowing if this is real or a rug pull you can simply go to the site and do here i'll choose soul seats one project that i personally have invested in Okay. And it takes you directly to mint. It takes you directly to mint. And so this Soul Seats NFT, I found particularly interesting. So it's, it, its main idea is that the NFT owners have a seat at the table. It says the table is a co-op project space where members can participate learn and earn from a fair allocation of our next mint our phase two mint will be a community driven and allocation of revenue will be dispersed equally between our shareholders so you can take that information and if you look at it in the long haul perspective because you shouldn't always look at something as okay i'm ready to buy this now and i want to get rid of it within the next five to ten days because more than likely nine times out of ten you're gonna disappoint yourself yeah. so always look at something in the long terms and never buy something with money that you're not willing to lose Okay. And what you said a little bit earlier, that's pretty much what you're saying, like a DAO, like a decentralized autonomous organization. So the rules are already, you know, built in or they're encoded uh, exactly. into, the, into the program and it controls the whole organization. So that's the, the rules already encoded and con controlled already. So it's like, uh, I guess the only way to go against something like that would probably be like the, be the, the fork it or something like that or. Exactly. Okay. All right, all right. Yep. That's, that's, that's what I'm trying to get clear because I'm looking at this what this DAO is, and I'm seeing it's decentralized. So the only way to be, I can't see how you would really go about changing it. But um, I like. I mean, yeah, the Soul Seats looks cool. What, what, what kind of are they doing? Any cool drops? Anything coming up? Right. So once you once you mint, 
basically it's their, their minting process is still up their minting process is still up um let me see won't be able to see my password here all right so at the time of this video um there are only 390 mints so it's a it's a fair amount of mints left out of a thousand though shoot out of I a mean, thousand, thousand total yep it's only a thousand total yeah, we cut it down you know, so, like that is limited yeah yeah definitely like that that's so a high value so, to me. so a lot of people um they're for their first drop they're doing 69 airdrops of actual physical chairs and the reason why i like this project for the long haul is because the more uh projects that they do then the the first mentors will get profit sharing from that revenue from that so everyone everyone that owns this will get some type of benefit from this whether it's information whether it's money or a cool project that they just want to be a part of either way anyone that joins is going to be a beneficiary the so earlier the better the earlier the better and hopefully we get this out soon so that you can capture possibly of course this is not financial advice this is do your due diligence for, with everything you do and but you know this is just something i like right now okay okay the souls is going to have to look into the soul seats man for real those, those these look interesting so let me take a look at it. i actually like the soul seats the soul the soul seats look because right before he presented this i was um i was like is there an nft that's not like character based and then he pulled one up yeah so, right I, li I like and i like what that says to me and i like the views that they have listed like on their page right and on and on the screen here you can see the soul seat that i purchased you know it each one of course is different it has it comes with you know it could have something in the air flying over it you know on the bottom chair you know such and such but this project is particularly interesting in another fact that the metaverse so with the metaverse you'll be able to seat these chairs within i'm i'm believing that their next mint will be tables so that you can actually combine these chairs with the tables that they'll have for the metaverse and they'll start to build on top of that what they gonna build though uh, it seems kind of i wonder like uh, will, it, will it be like so you so at these tables will you be at a table and you can like look like i mean I'm, in my head i'm thinking like a table and chair like is it gonna be like a platform for online gambling that they could do are you sitting at certain tables and there's different things that are available at different tables uh or like i wonder like how they no I'm, I'm just speculating here i don't like you know what i'm saying at certain tables you can watch movies or you know what i'm saying right i don't, I don't right. You know. right and 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 that's and that's the part that's the part that uh i love and i'm pretty sure that everybody else knows it's 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 not necessarily the speculation it's the possibility unlimited potential yeah yeah okay so well, it was good chowing it up you know what i'm saying i think we all you know definitely you know learned a little bit of this line of seats and you know talked a little bit about um this line of art platform and how you know what i'm saying we about projects and you know different things we're looking at uh, we can kind of just kind of keep following up and just see, you know, touch on if anybody got questions about certain projects they want to get covered, they want us to, you know, discuss something or you know, play devil's advocate. Because we I mean we got three different people here, we got different opinions, and right. we don't you know, always take a look and you know, research up for ourselves. Um, uh, feel free to ask those questions, and then we'll definitely tap back in. Anything closing words from you, D, or anything from you, Skip? Um, no, I'm, I'm just gonna I'm gonna continue shopping now that you guys have shown me this, and uh, I'll have something by the next time we we reconvene on this topic. 
Yeah, um, yeah. Um, I just want to. I just want to say that um, we did a good job on this. This is our first time doing a whole online meetup for this video. And my name is Skip again. Uh, my social media handles will be in the description, so we can all stay in contact and be here for the next time. Yep, we have a whole uh whole bunch of more topics. So any topics you anybody wants to touch on, MetaMask, uh, you know, Arjun Wilded, uh Salon Art, Open C, anything. We can we can touch on a lot of different things. So just feel free to ask the question in the comments or reach out to us. Social media will be getting to it. All right. All Sounds right. good, y'all. We'll see, we'll wrap it up for next time. Peace. All right, guys. Yep. Peace. Yep.